Welcome to another spontaneous reloading studio how-to video. Uh, I, I get a lot of questions about reporting and label options and can you print various reports and various label makers and whatnot and I thought I'd address this here in this how-to. Um, unfortunately the the answer to do you support label maker X is no. They're just way too many nuances and little bits and pieces that I would need to support and, and primarily it's not the purpose of the software and what I try to do instead is make the same functionality available with tools that are readily available to pretty much anyone. So let's let's get started. Right. The um, the first that the first um, reporting that I can talk about is the letter report. So if we want to run a letter test, we have a bunch of recipes which are essentially the same. In this instance, we're just um, varying the amount of charge. So 30 grains, um, 32, 33, 34, and so on. So in this instance, we want to do a letter test. We can select the letter over here, select the variable that we want to test. So in this instance, it's charge and we can view the report or we can click one of either one. So at this point, um, a web browser window will open whatever web browser you have installed on your workstation and you'll have this report. So you can print it, you can cut a piece of paper out and you can put it in your ammo box. And that's, that's the way we do a letter testing report. The marker field is effectively how do you distinguish between this group and this group of cartridges? You can say red and paint this cartridge as red, or you can say um, first row from the top, and this you know five cartridges will be in the first row from the top of your ammo box. I mean, it's it's up to you really, whatever whatever you wish to do. So the the second bit of the reporting is this three inside the recipe in this three um, links buttons if you will first one is print load recipe report if we click this another web browser window will open and we can see the entire load recipe so cartridge weight oh, sorry charge weight notes I haven't added any but if you have it'll be here batch IDs, um, pretty much everything. Everything that you've added um, in relation to this cartridge, including projectiles, primers, powders, um, if there's different velocities, if there's different weights, um, they'll all be printed here. Uh, if you like to keep things in a binder, this is the bit that you print. Um, this is the report that will um, completely replicate the cartridge. The next one is range card and this is just a helper. Again, print it, cut it, put it in your ammo box and this documents the recipe. Exactly what people write on a post-it note or those ICBS stickers. Um, that's that's about it for pre-formatted reports and I, I try to Keep this to a minimum because I know different people like different formats. Um, the next one is copy function. So we can see in here we have a view case snapshot. So this is a snapshot of a case at the time we've loaded. <clears throat> we can copy and then we can paste into a spreadsheet. Um, it can be a spreadsheet, it can be Google document or Office 365, it doesn't really matter, but I've just pasted it and there it is. So again, you can you can format it, you can um, do whatever you want with it. You can print it, you can save it, it's up to you, but that's, that's how you would export this kind of data. The next bit, 
um, wherever you see this copy by the way is when you can copy and paste into a spreadsheet. Uh, the next bit is um, <clears throat> pretty much any of the components. So let's let's pick projectiles for example. You'll see there's a little button over here. We can click it and once again I'm just going to delete this and once again we can paste. And here's the entire inventory of um, projectiles. So this entire form, uh, which is a little bit more information than you see in this table, will be in here. Once again, we can format it, sort it, we can do whatever we want with it. So this is how you would keep an inventory of your components if you choose to print it and, and I don't know, have hanging in your reloading room. Um, that's that's about it. Uh, that's how we export and view components. Thanks.